Hi everyone, today I'm making a card for a friend who has a dog and her dog is turning three years old today. I've met her through Instagram and we connected through our dogs, so I decided that would be fun. Um, since on my last videos, a lot of you commented that you had trouble coloring with, my, with the um, Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers, I decided to leave the coloring on this video and we'll make the video about the coloring mostly and not so much about the card making. So as you can see here, I'm coloring, I'm putting some color on this, on the lines and then I'm pulling the color with my wet brush. To do that, the brush can't be too wet, otherwise it's going to ruin the paper, like you will see here on the ear. Um, I kind of ruined it, but I decided to roll with it and it didn't matter. It just made some texture. So the brushes I'm using for this is, um, are the Ranger brushes that you can find uh, at Simon Says Stamp, for example. They come in a pack. So you have the small brushes, round brushes like this. You also have some flat ones. And they are synthetic. So they are not as soft as natural hair brushes and they are perfect for this technique with marker markers. I'm using some darker color that I put in areas on my image that would be like darker in real life, like here on both sides of the little arm um, or on that little leg that is kind of behind the other one. I also mix my colors directly on the paper this time. Sometimes I use the blending palette that you can see here on the left side of my desk, but sometimes I just mix the colors directly on the paper. It makes another effect, you know, it's less flat, it gives more texture. Her dog is a white and brown, uh, brown King's Charles Cavalier. So I decided that this little dog should look like her dog a little bit. The other one looks more like mine, my Cavapoo. Um, and I think it's super cute when you have a card like this and that, you know, the, the little drawings are uh, a little bit like the reality. So here you can see that even though the paper was a little bit... Uh, <laughs> how do you call that it was a little bit um, broken you know like the paper is coming off I decided to let it dry and add some more color um, I decided that my the ear should be a little reddish a little bit more red than the chocolate brown that was there before and here even though her dog is white I decided that it needed some shading to add some dimension to the white image. So I decided to go with a, like a beige brown uh, shade instead of a gray one. Sometimes I use purple as well to make some shading, but this time for the dog I decided to go with some very pale brown. This is some teal or peacock blue I think is the right color I could have made more texture on that glass I, it's a little bit plain but it's fine since the focus is not on the glass and more on the dogs doesn't matter now for the ice cream I decided to use vanilla I know that this pen looks gray like this but in real life it's the vanilla pen that I used but then it didn't make enough uh, color, so I just used the pink that was on the straws. And see, when I pass on the pink, I already have some pink in my brush. And that's just enough to add some pink to the ice cream without making it all super dark pink. The stamping was not super, super crisp, so I decided to take a multi-liner 0.1, super fine tip, and to go over all the lines again. And then I, I uh, fussy cut my image. You know, if you take your time and do it slowly, it's really not a problem. You don't have to buy the dies coordinating with all the stamps all the time. When uh, there are some little holes in the image, 
then I like to have the dye, but otherwise fussy cutting is no problem. So I decided to put my little dogs on this background image. I colored it as well with the Zig uh, Clean Color Real Brush Marker. And I added some shading next to the little flags and poles. And I added a little cupcake since it's her birthday. Two little hearts that I outlined and that's it. And this is my little doggy sending her birthday wishes to her little dog. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.